Now, an investigation report on an incident in which two workers died and five others were injured in an accident at the Kenya Ports Authority is yet to be forwarded to relevant agencies for further action. The Kenya Ports Authority is also in the process of appointing an independent safety inspector to probe safety in the privately contracted service providers within the facility. The report says the incident which occurred on July 31st at the Kenya Ports Authority was as a result of negligence and human error. Investigations have also revealed that three bagging plants were filled with fertilizer when it collapsed, killing two people on the spot. It further reveals that the accident happened during the operationalization of fertilizer bagging equipment. According to the Dock Workers Union, the facility had not been licensed to operate such machinery in bath number seven and eight. That facility which was being erected had not been, uh, been licensed you know, to do that, the, the kind of work which they were doing and uh, thus uh, you know, causing the death of, uh, of some two Kenyans. The union further questions how the board at the Kenya Ports Authority issued the license without following proper procedures. Now, KPA is in the process of appointing independent investigators to look into the matter, more so how a private-owned company was given a 10 lease to operate at the port. The union's statement reads, and I quote, In respect to this, we want to declare that three officers of the authority are responsible for the illegalities currently at Shed Number 7. The statement further reads that they should be held responsible for the incident. The management of Kenya Port Authority have made a commitment that um, they are going to look into that issue in future. The union is also raising an alarm over privatization of a section of the port, slamming the government over the proposed merger of the Kenya Petroleum Corporation, Kenya Ports Authority, and the Kenya Railways without involving the parliament. The billions which have been minted, nobody knows because they have refused to divulge the ownership of the minority shares who are owned by certain individuals in this country. Kevin Mutai. In TV, Mombasa.